This is actually a video that I've been meaning to do and I've actually wanted to do for a while now. It involves this little aquascape here, this little mini 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 aquascape in a glass, and also this little packet of seeds here. Basically, I want to find out whether these cheap seeds from eBay actually grow and if they're any good. So stay tuned to find out. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So I actually purchased these seeds from eBay for about one pound. I think I actually got two packs for less than two pounds, like one pound 90 something or other. So they were really, really cheap, free postage as well, which kind of questions whether they're actually gonna be any good, which is why I've derived this experiment to see if they're any good. Let's get them out of the packet. And of course all the instructions and stuff on the back are all in a language that I cannot understand. And there's a little pot there. Tiny, tiny little seeds. Now the reason I've actually set up this little jar here is because I don't want to put the seeds into this little Nano Iwagumi style aquascape just yet in case they're rubbish. So I'm gonna test them on this one first. If they're all good and I feel they'll be adequate enough to put in that big tank, well it's not really a big tank, it's a small tank, but it's bigger than the little glass, then I'll go ahead and do that and make a video separately on that. This is just a test video. If it turns out that they are rubbish, then I'll just buy the Hemianthus plant as a plant and put it in that tank. Also, because the plan is to eventually have them growing in this tank here, I'm going to be trying to grow them under the same light. Now this light actually has like a, a pivot angle arm on it, so if I place this jar here, once it's got the seeds in it, all I need to do is move the light out like so, and voila, they're under the same conditions that they will be if they were to go into the bigger little tank. So let's get on with the fun bit to sprinkle the actual seeds on the substrate, give them a spray, make sure they're nice and wet, and then seeing if they grow. Alright, so I'm all finished now with the scattering of the seeds. I'm not too sure if I've done too much or what, but we'll see. This is the whole point of this, it's an experiment. And I've probably used about mm, just over one quarter, maybe a little bit less than one third of the actual jar, which isn't bad considering the bigger little tank uh, is obviously a lot more bigger and I do have another little jar of this. Using my trusty pink spray bottle, we're going to be spraying it to make sure it's nice and wet so the seeds can actually grow. So now I've actually finished spraying the little jar and the seeds within it, they've actually swollen up a bit, a little bit like um, oats do when you're making porridge. So I assume that's them obviously taking on the water. Since this is actually a little dry star aquascape, I've seen people, they normally cover the top with cling film. Don't actually have any cling film, so I'm just gonna kind of go with it and see what happens. Uh, so I'm gonna be spraying the jar quite regularly, making sure that it's always a little bit moist for, for the seeds to actually grow. So when I come down in the mornings, I'll give it a spray if it needs it, and in the evenings, again, I'll give it a spray as well. As for the actual light above, I'm probably going to be leaving that on for about eight hours a day for the same time period and see how they get on because that's more than likely how I'm going to have the light set up when I finish this tank off. But now it's just a waiting game. So as each day goes by, I'll be doing a little close up of the tank so you can see kind of, it's not even a tank, it's a little jar. I'll be, I'll be doing a little close-up of it so you can see how the seeds develop and grow. Hopefully they do. But yeah, as of now, this is day zero, so roll on the days. 
On the fifth day of sea, growing my true love gave to me some cling film. It is, if you haven't guessed it, the fifth day that I've been trying to grow these seeds and the reason why I didn't do any small clips from the first, second, third, fourth day is because they're not really growing and I can only really maybe put that down to the humidity within the tank being the fact that there's no cling film on it. So I asked my girlfriend very nicely if she would buy some cling film for me uh, and she did. Uh, I'm probably just going to use it for this and then this scape here and it's going to sit in the drawer for maybe five years or something. We, we don't really use it. But it's a new aquascaping tool I can kind of put in my collection. Right, so let's give them one last sort of spray. Get some moisture in there. There we go. And now I'm actually going to cover them with the cling film. Or shrink, no not shrink rack, it's cling film, yeah. Oh gosh, dearie me. I'm a bit of a novice. Not really? Come on. There we go. We'll put this over the top like so. So hopefully now with the cling film on top, it should keep the moisture in and yeah, they, they should hopefully grow. If they don't, then these little seeds, they're pants. Thank God the cork stayed in. Hmm. I don't think they've worked. It's been about two weeks since the beginning, since I first sort of like put them in the glass. And obviously after five days, they then put the cling film on. So it's nearly been 10 days since the cling film has been on top, sort of keeping the humidity in. And they're just going moldy. Only a couple have actually germinated. And considering if you look on the, the eBay um, recommendations, it says they should grow within 10 days. And I've actually known people to successfully grow these, so I'm uh, I'm not too sure when, what went wrong here. There's a few things that might have been a contributing factor as to them not germinating. The first one I think that might kind of be the case is the seeds might be too old. I had bought them nearly a year ago, but looking at seed packets in like a garden centre and things like that, they normally have like a couple of years before they do go out out of date like they won't germinate but I have had these near a year so that might be a contributing factor the second reason possibly might be the fact that I didn't put the cling film on right at the beginning and then like yeah that stopped them growing another thing might be I put too much water in though I was only spraying it every now and then I wasn't not once were they submersed underwater yeah I don't really want to rule these out completely saying they're 100% rubbish because I have known of people actually growing them as I previously said so I kind of want to give them a second chance but to give them a second chance I might buy some new ones and pretty much do the experiment again straight away. Uh, so yeah as I said throughout this video this was an experiment it obviously didn't work this time and if the title of this video is something like test one, then that means I've redone this uh, with a new batch of seeds and maybe they've worked again. If that one doesn't work, then I'm just gonna say these are plain rubbish. But this time, unfortunately, they didn't work. Let me know in the comments section down below if you've bought these seeds and you've had success growing them. It'd be interesting to find out how many people have succeeded in germinating these. If you did like this video, don't forget to whack that thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content and you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below as well. And I shall see you in another video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, sorry they didn't work. Fingers crossed for next time. See you later. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things shrimp simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!